is a celebrity chef and a top chef all-star, by the way. Spike Mendelson is here, and you're going to show us some great stuff with steak because it smells amazing smells here delicious. in Times Square. Yes. But you just got a brand new restaurant open called Bernays, right? Yes. Just opened a brand new restaurant. And it's a steak frite restaurant, so it's kind of like a bistro, but a little bit not not as a big menu. Right. Inspired by a place in France, and uh, we serve steak frites. What is, it, what is it about that French bistro and the steak frite, the idea of that, that drives people crazy? It's probably my first choice when I want to go to a restaurant. Why is I think it's just wholesome and it's comfortable and the food is tasty and it's, it's kind of food people want to eat, you know what I mean? And they're very used to it. So I think bistros are, are coming back in full force these days and uh, I'm excited about the steak free place. All right, well, we're excited to eat whatever you're cooking. So how All right. do you bring that bistro idea into the backyard? Okay, so one of the, one of the bistro items that we have for lunch, because not everyone's going to eat steak free. Right. At lunch, uh, is we did a steak tartine. So we take some of the fillets over here, uh, and a steak tartine is an open face sandwich. It's like a fancy French word. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread a little bit of this garlic aioli here All with right. some herbs. Yeah. Okay. We'll make about uh, anything that's open face. I like this idea because it lets you really get at the meat and everything first at the top of your mouth, where everything tastes so good. It's right there and open, available. Exactly, to you. and it's a lot less bread. And you know, at lunch, people don't really want like such a heavy meal all the time. So use half of the bread. That is beautiful. And look, we got these caramelized like onions over here. Josh is such a foodie too. Right. He is. Nice bread. I like to use a Campania French bread. Yeah. Uh, but any bread would kind of work. You can use just a wheat bread. Just toast it up. Yeah, just toast it up on one side, a little olive oil, salt and pepper, garlic aioli like you see, caramelized onions, and here's the money. Now we're going to slice. Oh, see? Oh, Look yes. how beautiful that is. So we're going to slice a couple slices you like that. Slice it as thin as you want, as thin as you can, right? Right. And, and the trick here is, like, you can grill this beforehand. And then you cool it down so it's not uh, like a nice temperature. Cook it about medium rare, and then you just layer it. Oh, oh. Mike, you're killing me! That looks so, so delicious. So if you have leftover steak from the night before from right. grilling, right? You can do this. It's a perfect opportunity. So what we'll do is we'll take a little salad, right? Season with a little salt and pepper. Yep. Put a little arugula on the arugula, top of it. My favorite. My right. favorite. Vinegar. Yes. <laughs> Some pepper. So it's simple. Yeah. It's simple and delicious. I it's mean, it's simple like and delicious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and not you got too many things in you the You got world. lots of flavors and textures going on here. You got the radishes, the pepperiness, well, the fillet, super tender. Quickly, right. uh, just we a have quick fries and the Brussels sprouts, yeah. which are just. Well, delicious. you know what? I don't. I don't like leaving vegetarians out at my steak-free place. So we take these portobellos, we marinate them, you know, with all this beautiful liquor over here. Some brandy, some balsamic. Bring with this one. Add some, <laughs> add some love to it, and then we grill them. You know, portobellos <laughs> are very steaky. <laughs> They got that steak texture. We season with Montreal steak spice. Serve them up with fried Brussels sprouts. Oh, oh you can eat fries. And Spike, we love you. And Amazing. Anytime you can soak mushrooms in a little bit of that, that's probably delicious. Yeah. You can go to goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo to get all the recipes.